West Africa, also called Western Africa and the West of Africa, is the westernmost region of Africa. West Africa has been defined as including 17 countries, Benin, Burkina Faso, the island nation of Cape Verde, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Ivory Coast, Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, the islands of St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha, Senegal, Sierra Leone and Togo. The population of West Africa is estimated at about 362 million people as of 2016. Topic: List of countries. Topic: Topic: Genetic background. Topic: Studies of human mitochondrial DNA suggest that all humans share common ancestors from Africa, originated in the southwestern regions near the coastal border of Namibia and Angola at the approximate coordinates 12.5 degrees east, 17.5 degrees south with a divergence in the migration path around 37.5 degrees east, 22.5 degrees north near the Red Sea. A particular haplogroup of DNA, haplogroup L2, evolved between 87,000 and 170 7,000 years ago or approximately 90,000 YBP. Its age and widespread distribution and diversity across the continent makes its exact origin point within Africa difficult to trace with any confidence, however an origin for several L2 groups in West or Central Africa seems likely, with the highest diversity in West Africa. Most of its subclades are largely confined to West and Western Central Africa. Because of the large numbers of West Africans enslaved in the Atlantic slave trade, most African Americans are likely to have mixed ancestry from different regions of Western Africa. Topic: History. Topic: the history of West Africa can be divided into five major periods, first, its prehistory, in which the first human settlers arrived, developed agriculture, and made contact with peoples to the north, the second, the Iron Age empires that consolidated both intra-Africa, and extra-Africa trade, and developed centralized states, third, major polities flourished, which would undergo an extensive history of contact with non-Africans, fourth, the colonial period, in which Great Britain and France controlled nearly the entire region, and fifth, the post-independent era, in which the current nations were formed. Prehistory Early human settlers from northern Holocene societies arrived in West Africa around 12,000 BC. At Gobero, the Kifian, who were hunters of tall stature, lived during the Green Sahara between 10,000 and 8,000 years ago. The Tenarian, who were a more lightly built people that hunted, fished and herded cattle, lived during the latter part of the Green Sahara approximately 7,000 to 4,500 years ago. Sedentary farming began in, or around the 5th millennium BC, as well as the domestication of cattle. By 1500 BC, ironworking technology allowed an expansion of agricultural productivity, and the first city-states later formed. Northern tribes developed walled settlements and non-walled settlements that numbered at 400. In the forest region, Iron Age cultures began to flourish, and an inter-region trade began to appear. The desertification of the Sahara and the climatic change of the coast caused trade with upper Mediterranean peoples to be seen. The domestication of the camel allowed the development of a trans Saharan trade with cultures across the Sahara, including Carthage and the Berbers. Major exports included gold, cotton cloth, metal ornaments, iron, and leather goods, which were then exchanged for salt, horses, textiles, and other such materials. Local leather, cloth, and gold also contributed to the abundance of prosperity for many of the following empires. Empires The development of the region's economy allowed more centralized states and civilizations to form, beginning with Dar Tichet that began in 1600 BC followed by Gene di Geno beginning in 300 BC. This was then succeeded by the Ghana Empire that first flourished between the 9th and 12th centuries, which later gave way to the Mali Empire. In current-day Mauritania, there exist archaeological sites in the towns of Tichet and Walata that were initially constructed around 2000 BC, and were found to have originated from the Saniki branch of the Mandé peoples, who, according to their tradition, originate from Aswan, Egypt. 
Also, based on the archaeology of city of Kumbi Sala in modern-day Mauritania, the Mali Empire came to dominate much of the region until its defeat by Almoravid invaders in 1052. Three great kingdoms were identified in Balad al-Sudan by the 9th century. They included Ghana, Gao and Kanem. The Soso Empire sought to fill the void, but was defeated c. 1240 by the Mandinka forces of Sundiata Keita, founder of the new Mali Empire. The Mali Empire continued to flourish for several centuries, most particularly under Sundiata's grandnephew Musa I, before a succession of weak rulers led to its collapse under Masi, Tuareg and Songhai invaders. In the 15th century, the Songhai would form a new dominant state based on Gao, in the Songhai Empire, under the leadership of Sunni Ali and Askia Muhammad. Meanwhile, south of the Sudan, strong city-states arose in Igboland, such as the 10th-century Kingdom of Nri, which helped birth the arts and customs of the Igbo people, Bano in the 12th century, which eventually culminated in the formation the all-powerful Akan Empire of Ashanti, while Ife rose to prominence around the 14th century. Further east, Oyo arose as the dominant Yoruba state and the Aero Confederacy as a dominant Igbo state in modern-day Nigeria. The Kingdom of Nri was a West African medieval state in the present-day southeastern Nigeria and a subgroup of the Igbo people. The Kingdom of Nri was unusual in the history of world government in that its leader exercised no military power over his subjects. The kingdom existed as a sphere of religious and political influence over a third of Igboland and was administered by a priest king called as an Ease Nri. The Ease Nri managed trade and diplomacy on behalf of the Nri people and possessed divine authority in religious matters. The Oyo Empire was a Yoruba empire of what is today western and north-central Nigeria. Established in the 15th century, the Oyo Empire grew to become one of the largest West African states. It rose through the outstanding organizational skills of the Yoruba, wealth gained from trade and its powerful cavalry. The Oyo Empire was the most politically important state in the region from the mid-17th to the late 18th century, holding sway not only over most of the other kingdoms in Yorubaland, but also over nearby African states, notably the Fon Kingdom of Dahomey in the modern Republic of Benin to the west. The Benin Empire was a pre-colonial empire located in what is now southern Nigeria. Its capital was Edo, now known as Benin City, Edo. It should not be confused with the modern-day country called Benin, formerly called Dahomey. The Benin Empire was one of the oldest and most highly developed states in the coastal hinterland of West Africa, dating perhaps to the 11th century CE. The Benin Empire was governed by a sovereign emperor with hundreds of thousands of soldiers and a powerful council rich in resources, wealth, ancient science and technology with cities described as beautiful and large as Harlem. Olfert Dapper, a Dutch writer, describing Benin in his book Description of Africa 1668. Its craft was the most adored and treasured bronze casting in the history of Africa. It was annexed by the British Empire in 1897 during the invasion and scramble of Africa. Topic: <inaudible> Slavery and European contact. Topic: Portuguese traders began establishing settlements along the coast in 1445, followed by the French, British, Spanish, Danish and Dutch. The African slave trade began not long after, which over the following centuries would debilitate the region's economy and population. The slave trade also encouraged the formation of states such as the Asante Empire, Bambara Empire and Dahomey, whose economic activities include but not limited to exchanging slaves for European firearms. Colonialism In the early 19th century, a series of Fulani reformist jihad swept across Western Africa. The most notable include Usman Dan Fodio's Fulani Empire, which replaced the Hausa city states, Seku Amadou. S. Masina Empire, which defeated the Bambara, and Lhadj Umar Tal's Tukular Empire, which briefly conquered much of modern-day Mali. However, the French and British continued to advance in the scramble for Africa, subjugating kingdom after kingdom. With the fall of Samari Touré's new-founded Wasulu Empire in 1898 and the Ashanti Queen Yaa Asantawa in 1902, most West African military resistance to colonial rule resulted in failure leaving, however, an effect on the development of the states. 
Part of the West African regions underwent an increase in the numeracy level throughout the 19th century. The reason for such a growth was predetermined by a number of factors. Namely, the peanut production and trade, which was boosted by the demand of the colonial states. Importantly, the rise of the numeracy was higher in the regions which were less hierarchical and had less dependent from the slavery trade e sign and salem. Whereas areas with the opposite trends illustrated opposite tendencies e central and northern Senegal. Those patterns were further even more stimulated with the French colonial campaign. Britain controlled the Gambia, Sierra Leone, Ghana, and Nigeria throughout the colonial era, while France unified Senegal, Guinea, Mali, Burkina Faso, Benin, Ivory Coast and Niger into French West Africa. Portugal founded the colony of Guinea-Bissau, while Germany claimed Togoland, but was forced to divide it between France and Britain following First World War due to the Treaty of Versailles. Only Liberia retained its independence, at the price of major territorial concessions. Post-colonial eras Topic. Following World War II, nationalist movements arose across West Africa. In 1957, Ghana, under Kwame Nkrumah, became the first sub-Saharan colony to achieve its independence, followed the next year by France. S. Colonies, Guinea in 1958 under the leadership of President Ahmed Sekou Touré, by 1974, West Africa. S nations were entirely autonomous. Since independence, many West African nations have been submerged under political instability, with notable civil wars in Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Ivory Coast, and a succession of military coups in Ghana and Burkina Faso. Since the end of colonialism, the region has been the stage for some brutal conflicts, including Nigerian Civil War First Liberian Civil War Second Liberian Civil War Guinea-Bissau Civil War Ivorian Civil War Sierra Leone Rebel War States The Economic Community of West African States, established in May 1975, has defined the region of West Africa since 1999 as including the following 15 states Geopolitically, the United Nations definition of Western Africa includes the preceding states with the addition of Mauritania which withdrew from ECOWAS in 1999, comprising an area of approximately 6.1 million square km. The UN region also includes the island of St. Helena, a British overseas territory in the South Atlantic Ocean. Area. In the United Nations scheme of African regions, the region includes 17 states and the island of St. Helena, an overseas territory, Mali, Burkina Faso, Senegal and Niger are mostly in the Sahel, a transition zone between the Sahara Desert and the Sudanian savanna, Benin, Côte d'Ivoire, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Togo, and Nigeria compose Guinea, the traditional name for the area near the Gulf of Guinea, Cape Verde is an island country in the Atlantic Ocean, Mauritania lies in the Maghreb, the northwestern region of Africa that has historically been inhabited by both traditionally West African groups such as the Fulani, Saniki and Wolof, along with Arab Berber Maghrebi people. Due to its increasingly close ties to the Arab world and its 1999 withdrawal from the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS, in modern times it is often considered, especially in Africa, as now part of Western North Africa. Cities Major cities in West Africa include Abidjan, Ivory Coast Accra, Ghana Bamako, Mali Banjul, The Gambia Conakry, Guinea Cotanu, Benin Dakar, Senegal Freetown, Sierra Leone Lagos, Nigeria Lome, Togo Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso Geography and climate 
West Africa, broadly defined to include the western portion of the Maghreb Western Sahara, Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia, occupies an area in excess of 6,140,000 square kilometers, or approximately one-fifth of Africa. The vast majority of this land is plains lying less than 300 meters above sea level, though isolated high points exist in numerous states along the southern shore of West Africa. The northern section of West Africa narrowly defined to exclude the western Maghreb is composed of semi-arid terrain known as Sahel, a transitional zone between the Sahara and the savannas of the western Sudan. Forests form a belt between the savannas and the southern coast, ranging from 160 km to 240 km in width. The northwest African region of Mauritania periodically suffers country wide plagues of locusts, which consume water, salt, and crops on which the human population relies. <laughs> Background West Africa is west of an imagined north-south axis lying close to 10 degrees east longitude. The Atlantic Ocean forms the western as well as the southern borders of the West African region. The northern border is the Sahara Desert, with the Ranishanu Bend generally considered the northernmost part of the region. The eastern border is less precise, with some placing it at the Banu Trough, and others on a line running from Mount Cameroon to Lake Chad. Colonial boundaries are reflected in the modern boundaries between contemporary West African states, cutting across ethnic and cultural lines, often dividing single ethnic groups between two or more states. In contrast to most of Central, Southern, and Southeast Africa, West Africa is not populated by Bantu speaking peoples. Transport Topic. Rail transport topic. A Trans ECOWAS project, established in 2007, plans to upgrade railways in this zone. One of the goals of the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS is the development of an integrated railroad network. Aims include the extension of railways in member countries, the interconnection of previously isolated railways and the standardization of gauge, brakes, couplings, and other parameters. The first line would connect the cities and ports of Lagos, Kotanu, Lomé and Accra and would allow the largest container ships to focus on a smaller number of large ports, while efficiently serving a larger hinterland. This line connects 3 feet 6 in 1067 mm gauge and 1000 mm 3 feet 3 and 3 eighths in meter gauge systems which would require four rail dual gauge which can also provide standard gauge. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Road transport. Topic: <inaudible> The Trans-West African Coastal Highway is a transnational highway project to link 12 West African coastal states, from Mauritania in the northwest of the region to Nigeria in the east, with feeder roads already existing to two landlocked countries, Mali and Burkina Faso. The eastern end of the highway terminates at Lagos, Nigeria. Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS consider its western end to be Nouakchott, Mauritania, or to be Dakar, Senegal, giving rise to these alternative names for the road. Nouakchott Lagos Highway, Lagos Nouakchott Highway, Dakar Lagos Highway, Lagos Dakar Highway, Trans African Highway 7 in the Trans African Highway Network Air transport Topic. The capital's airports include Kajahoun Airport COO International, Kotanu, Benin Ouagadougou Airport OUA, Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso Amilcar Cabral International Airport SID, Praia, Cape Verde Banjul International Airport BJL International, Banjul, Gambia Katoka International Airport ACC, Accra, Ghana Conakry International Airport CKY, Conakry, Guinea Osvaldo Vieira International Airport OXB, Bissau, Guinea-Bissau Port Buit Airport ABJ, Abidjan, Ivory Coast Roberts International Airport Rob, Monrovia, Liberia Bamako Seno International Airport BKO, Bamako, Mali Diori Hamani International Airport Nim, Niamey, Niger 
Murtala Muhammad International Airport, Los, Lagos, Nigeria. Saint Helena Airport, Jamestown, Saint Helena. Blaise Diane International Airport, DSS, Dakar, Senegal. Lungi International Airport, FNA, Freetown, Sierra Leone. Lomé Tacoin Airport (LFW), Lomé, Togouf the 16, the most important hub and entry point to West Africa is Katoka International Airport and Murtala Mohammed International Airport, offering many international connections. Topic: Culture. Topic: Despite the wide variety of cultures in West Africa, from Nigeria through to Senegal, there are general similarities in dress, cuisine, music and culture that are not shared extensively with groups outside the geographic region. This long history of cultural exchange predates the colonization era of the region and can be approximately placed at the time of the Ghana Empire proper, Wagadu Empire, Mali Empire or perhaps before these empires. Traditional architecture The main traditional styles of building in conjunction with modern styles are the distinct Sudano-Sahelian style in inland areas, and the coastal forest styles more reminiscent of other sub-Saharan areas. They differ greatly in construction due to the demands made by the variety of climates in the area, from tropical humid forests to arid grasslands and desert. Despite the architectural differences, buildings perform similar functions, including the compound structure central to West African family life or strict distinction between the private and public worlds needed to maintain taboos or social etiquette. Topic: <laughs> Clothing. Topic: In contrast to other parts of the continent south of the Sahara Desert, the concepts of hemming and embroidering clothing have been traditionally common to West Africa for centuries, demonstrated by the production of various breeches, shirts, tunics and jackets. As a result, the peoples of the region's diverse nations wear a wide variety of clothing with underlying similarities. Typical pieces of West African formal attire include the knee-to-ankle length, flowing bubu robe, dashiki, and Senegalese kaftan also known as Ogbata and Babariga, which has its origins in the clothing of nobility of various West African empires in the 12th century. Traditional half-sleeved, hip-long, woven smocks or tunics known as fugu in Gurunzi, riga in Hausa worn over a pair of baggy trousers—is another popular garment. In the coastal regions stretching from southern Ivory Coast to Benin, a huge rectangular cloth is wrapped under one arm, draped over a shoulder, and held in one of the wearer's hands, coincidentally, reminiscent of Romans' togas. The best known of these toga-like garments is the kente made by the Akan people of Ghana and Ivory Coast, who wear them as a gesture of national pride. Topic. Cuisine Topic. Scores of foreign visitors to West African nations e.g., traders, historians, emigrants, colonists, missionaries have benefited from its citizens' generosity, and even left with a piece of its cultural heritage, via its foods. West African cuisines have had a significant influence on those of Western civilization for centuries. Several dishes of West African origin are currently enjoyed in the Caribbean, e.g., the West Indies and Haiti, Australia, the USA, particularly Louisiana, Virginia, North and South Carolina, Italy, and other countries. Although some of these recipes have been altered to suit the sensibilities of their adopters, they retain a distinct West African essence. West Africans' cuisines include fish, especially among the coastal areas, meat, vegetables, and fruits, most of which are grown by the nations. Local farmers in spite of the obvious differences among the various local cuisines in this multinational region, the foods display more similarities than differences. The small difference may be in the ingredients used. Most foods are cooked via boiling or frying. Commonly featured, starchy vegetables include yams, plantains, cassava, and sweet potatoes. Rice is also a staple food, as is the Surer people's sorghum couscous called chera in Surer, particularly in Senegal and the Gambia. Jolof rice Originally from the Kingdom of Jola, now part of modern-day Senegal, but having spread to the Wallace of Gambia, is also enjoyed in many Western nations, as well, mafé proper, 
or damata from Mali via the Bambara and Mandinka. A peanut butter stew served with rice, akara fried bean balls seasoned with spices served with sauce and bread from Nigeria as a favorite breakfast for Gambians and Senegalese, as well as a favorite side snack or side dish in Brazil and the Caribbean just as it is in West Africa. It is said that its exact origin may be from Yorubaland in Nigeria. Fufu from the TWI language, a dough served with a spicy stew or sauce for example okra stew etc. from Ghana is enjoyed throughout the region and beyond even in Central Africa with their own versions of it. Dishes such as tagaya, agahira, etc. are popular among the Tuareg people. Topic. Recreation and sports Topic. The board game Awari is quite popular in many parts of southern Africa. The word Awari originates from the Akan people of Ghana. However, virtually all African peoples have a version of this board game. The major multi-sport event of West Africa is the ECOWAS Games which commenced at the 2012 ECOWAS Games. Football is also a pastime enjoyed by many, either spectating or playing. The major national teams of West Africa, the Ghana national football team, the Ivory Coast national football team, and the Nigeria national football team regularly win the Africa Cup of Nations. Major football teams of West Africa are Asante Kotoko SC and Accra Hearts of Oak SC of the Ghana Premier League, Enyumba International of the Nigerian Premier League and Asik Mimosas of the League One, Ivory Coast. The football governing body of West Africa is the West African Football Union WAFU, and the major tournament is the West African Club Championship and WAFU Nations Cup, along with the annual individual award of West African Footballer of the Year. Music <laughs> 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 Imbolics, Highlife, Fuji and Afrobeat are all modern musical genres which listeners enjoy in this region. Old traditional folk music is also well preserved in this region. Some of these are religious in nature such as the Tasu tradition used in Sura religion. <laughs> Griot and praise singing Two important related traditions that musically make West African musical attitudes unique are the griot tradition, and the praise singing tradition. In many cases, these two genres are highly similar, the difference being whether the traditions are considered the property of hereditary castes or to talented individuals among a ruler's subjects praise singing. In both cases the minstrel tradition and specialization in certain string and percussion instruments is observed. Traditionally, musical and oral history is conveyed over generations by griots are typical of West African culture in Mande, Wolof, Songhe, Moor and, to some extent, though not universal, Fula areas in the far west. A hereditary caste occupying the fringes of society, the griots were charged with memorizing the histories of local rulers and personages and the caste was further broken down into music-playing griots similar to bards and non-music-playing griots. Like praise singers, the griot main profession was musical acquisition and prowess, and patrons were the sole means of financial support. Modern griots enjoy higher status in the patronage of rich individuals in places such as Mali, Senegal, Mauritania and Guinea, and to some extent make up the vast majority of musicians in these countries. Examples of modern popular griot artists include Salif Keita, Yusuin. Dower, Mamadou Jabate, Rokia Traoré and Tumani Jabate. In other areas of West Africa, primarily among the Hausa, Masi, Dagamba and Yoruba in the area encompassing Burkina Faso, northern Ghana, Nigeria and Niger, the traditional profession of non-hereditary praise singers, minstrels, bards and poets play a vital role in extending the public show of power, lineage and prestige of traditional rulers through their exclusive patronage. Like the griot tradition, praise singers are charged with knowing the details of specific historic events and royal lineages, but more importantly need to be capable of poetic improvisation and creativity, with knowledge of traditional songs directed towards showing a patron's financial and political or religious power. 
Competition between praise singing ensembles and artistes are high, and artists responsible for any extraordinarily skilled prose, musical compositions and panegyric songs are lavishly rewarded with money, clothing, provisions and other luxuries by patrons who are usually politicians, rulers, Islamic clerics and merchants. These successful praise singers rise to national stardom. Examples include Mamun Shatta, Soli Konko, Fatty Niger, Sadu Bori and Dan Maraya. In the case of Niger, numerous praise songs are composed and shown on television in praise of local rulers, Islamic clerics and politicians. Topic: <laughs> Film industry. Topic: Nollywood of Nigeria is the main film industry of West Africa. The Nigerian cinema industry is the second largest film industry in terms of number of annual film productions, ahead of the American film industry in Hollywood. Senegal and Ghana also have long traditions of producing films. The late Usman Sembine, the Senegalese film director, producer and writer is from the region, as is the Ghanaian Shirley Frimpong Manso. Religion. Islam Islam is the predominant religion of the West African interior and the far west coast of the continent 70% of West Africans, and was introduced to the region by traders in the 9th century. Islam is the religion of the region's biggest ethnic groups by population. Islamic rules on livelihood, values, dress and practices had a profound effect on the populations and cultures in their predominant areas, so much so that the concept of tribalism is less observed by Islamized groups like the Mande, Wolof, Hausa, Fula and Songhai, than they are by non-Islamized groups. Ethnic intermarriage and shared cultural icons are established through a superseded commonality of belief or community, known as Ummah. Traditional Muslim areas include Senegal, Gambia, Mali, Mauritania, Guinea, Niger, the Upper Coast, and inland two thirds of Sierra Leone and inland Liberia, the western, northern, and far eastern regions of Burkina Faso, and the northern halves of the coastal nations of Nigeria, Benin, Togo, Ghana, and Ivory Coast. African traditional Traditional African religions noting the many different belief systems are the oldest belief systems among the populations of this region, and include Akan religion, Yoruba religion, Odinani, and Sura religion. They are spiritual but also linked to the historical and cultural heritage of the people. Although traditional beliefs vary from one place to the next, there are more similarities than differences. Christianity. Christianity, a relative newcomer introduced from the late 19th to mid to late 20th centuries, is associated with the British and French colonization eras, when missionaries from European countries brought the religion to the region. As Western Christianity, it includes predominantly Roman Catholicism and Anglicanism. It has become the predominant religion in the central and southern part of Nigeria, and the coastal regions stretching from southern Ghana to coastal parts of Sierra Leone. Like Islam, elements of traditional African religion are mixed with Christianity. Demographics and languages West Africans primarily speak Niger-Congo languages, belonging mostly, though not exclusively, to its non-Bantu branches, though some Nilo-Saharan and Afro-Asiatic speaking groups are also found in West Africa. The Niger-Congo speaking Yoruba, Igbo, Fulani, Akan and Wolof ethnic groups are the largest and most influential. In the Central Sahara, Mandinka or Mande groups are most significant. Chadic speaking groups, including the Hausa, are found in more northerly parts of the region nearest to the Sahara, and Nilo-Saharan communities, such as the Songhai, Kanori and Zarma, are found in the eastern parts of West Africa bordering Central Africa. The population of West Africa is estimated at 362 million people as of 2016. In Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso, the nomadic Tuareg speak the Tuareg language, a Berber language. 
Colonial languages also play a pivotal cultural and political role, being adopted as the official languages of most countries in the region, as well as lingua franca in communication between the region's various ethnic groups. For historical reasons, Western European languages such as French, English and Portuguese predominate in southern and coastal subregions, whilst Arabic spreads inland northwards. Economic and regional organizations the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS, founded by the 1975 Treaty of Lagos, is an organization of West African states which aims to promote the region's economy. The West African Monetary Union or UEMOA from its name in French, Union Économique et Monétaire West Africaine is limited to the eight, mostly Francophone countries that employ the CFA franc as their common currency. The Liptako Gorma Authority of Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso seeks to jointly develop the contiguous areas of the three countries. <laughs> <laughs> Women's peace movement since the adoption of the United Nations Security Council Resolution 1325 in 2000, women have been engaged in rebuilding war-torn Africa. Starting with the Women of Liberia Mass Action for Peace and Women in Peacebuilding Network the peace movement has grown to include women across West Africa. Established on May 8, 2006, Women Peace and Security Network, Africa, WIPSEN Africa is a women-focused, women-led pan-African non-governmental organization based in Ghana. The organization has a presence in Ghana, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, Liberia and Sierra Leone. Regional leaders of nonviolent resistance include Lima Gabawi, Comfort Freeman, and Aya Virginie Touré. Pray the Devil Back to Hell is a documentary film about the origin of this peace movement. The film has been used as an advocacy tool in post-conflict zones like Sudan and Zimbabwe, mobilizing African women to petition for peace and security. Gallery Cityscapes of largest cities Topic. Topic. Capital cities of West Africa Topic. Capital cities of West Africa Topic. See also Topic. Ajami Ebola virus epidemic in West Africa Manilas, a form of archaic money unique to West Africa Nko script Ns Abidi script, an indigenously developed West African writing system Vi syllabary West African Kraton Western Sahara References Further reading Topic. Akiampong, Emmanuel Kwaku. Themes in West Africa's History 2006. Collins, Robert O. African History, Western African History 1990. Davidson, Basil. A History of West Africa, 1000–1800 Numerous editions Edgerton, Robert B. The Fall of the Asante Empire, The Hundred Year War for Africa's Gold Coast 2002. Festus, Jacob et al., eds. History of West Africa Vol. 1, 1989 Ham, Anthony. West Africa 2009. Hopkins, Anthony Gerald. An Economic History of West Africa 2014. Kane, Usman Omar, Beyond Timbuktu, An Intellectual History of Muslim West Africa 2016. Mendonça, Eugene L. West Africa, An Introduction to Its History 2002. Topic. External links Topic. West Africa by Region and Country, African Studies at Columbia University Uistoff. Com, Uistoff, a West African online newspaper in French 
L'Occidental, an online West African newspaper in French. West Africa Review, an e-journal on West Africa research and scholarship in English. The Voyage of the Sierra Le Maire, to the Canary Islands, Cape Verde, Senegal, and Gambia is the first published writing about Western Africa, dating from 1695 in English. 1.